Let's get it open. Five, four, three, two, one. Something sick. <gasps> what up, everybody? Welcome to, as I'm sure you can guess by the title, opening one of every souvenir package ever. This includes every single collection that souvenirs are possible to drop in, and also every single major that has ever happened in CSGO. This took me quite a while to put together and cost me a few thousand so your like on the video would be highly appreciated before we start. Let's dive into it. The very first major ever in CSGO was Dreamhack Winter 2013. These packages are the very very strange packages that just give you a little countdown and then show you what weapon you got. You don't even get to see what's in it. However you can get some ridiculous items that are really really rare that are actually really expensive to work. Let's count it down in five. Four, three, two, one. Glitched R8 would be amazing. Ooh, 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 that's bad. Souvenir Nova Predator with the Dreamhack sticker right here. I guess it's a good rotation. I know the stickers on this one can be like all over the place, pretty crazy, and this one looks quite perfect. Moving on to the Katowice 2014 CSGO Major. These were some of the glory days of CSGO for me. You had VP who were just absolutely killing it. You had NIP. And of course, they contain the 2014 Katowice stickers, which are incredibly valuable. Unfortunately, they all come pre-applied to the weapon and when you open it you can't just take them off and sell them that'd be great but once again just like the 2013 one this one has a little countdown and then it shows you what you get i should say actually as well that it was dropped between Virtus pro and nip in the grand final exactly the two teams i was talking about let's get it open five four three two one something sick Ooh. <gasps> we got the ra <laughs> we got the ra is this is, is, is this a glitched R8? Did this actually just happen with the Virtus Pro on there and then the NIP on there? Wait, I need to I need to check this out. R8 revolver bone mask in souvenir. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think we just did it. I think we unboxed the legendary glitched R8. There was only one. And this one was opened by Jesus. Amazing. And it's a one of one now. And <laughs> now a one of two. No way did we just get this. That is crazy. Let's have a little inspect of this one. See what it looks like. Oh, it's way worse. It's way worse. Ours is way better. Ours has the VP on the actual uh, spinny barrel reload. I can't remember what this thing's called. But ours is definitely way better. Oh, I can't remember how much Jesus sold this for. Like 8k or something like that. But that's absolutely insane. This is the second one to ever get unboxed. My mind is absolutely blown right now. This one's a field tested. 0.21. What condition is ours? 0.8129. What? Why is the float like identical? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong RA. That makes sense. Let's have a look at actually our RA. The confusion's getting to me right now. Is it better than 0.21? Oh, it is. It is. What condition is that? Is that minware? That's minware. Oh my goodness. It's so much better. We just made a piece of CSGO history unintentionally. This is the best condition R8 with the best sticker placement. A one of two now. Absolutely insane. I'm a little bewildered by that one. Did not expect that to happen whatsoever. What an absolutely legendary R8. Second one to ever be unboxed in like how many years now? 10? 10 years? crazy crazy stuff let's move on after the katowice 2014s i can't go over how sick this is i actually can't go over how sick that is we had the cologne 2014s once again nip fanatic they took it to the final in an incredible show of skill back then this one is the inferno package so the best thing we could get i guess is the tech 9 brass which isn't exactly fantastic i think a tornado would actually be my favorite i'm gonna put the headset on just for effect oh at least it's not a great we got the gun smoke team ldlc nip and i think best sticker placement on all of those right at the top showing them very very cool i like that one especially the ldlc sticker then we had the dreamhack winter 2014 this once again is an inferno so the gun smoke wasn't actually too bad of a pull last time but let's hope for a tornado or possibly the julies or the tech nines anything from the higher tier we'd also accept 
Mm, that looks real bad. Once again, another Team LDLC sticker. I'm still a little bit bewildered, I'm not gonna lie, from opening the second Caddo 2014 RA ever unboxed in 10 years with best condition, best sticker placement. Moving on to Katowice 2015. I was actually here, it was like my first CSGO tournament I'd ever attended. Let's cut to the clip. I'm gonna sit down, spectate a game, I think. Katowice 2015 Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I had an absolute whale of a time. It was like the first time that people were coming up to me, asking me for signatures, asking me for pitches. I was getting absolutely swamped. I had no idea what was going on. I'm just, like, I'm just some CSGO nerd who's making videos about games. Like, why do you like me? It was an incredible, incredible experience. I'm getting distracted. Katowice 2014. This is the D2 package, not the D2 2021 collection, the original D2 collection, which has the P2000 Amber Fade in and obviously the RA Revolver Amber Fade. So let's get Wait, 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 who was the drop by? Fnatic and NIP. All right, let's get it. Hopefully the R8 Revolver Amber Fade. I don't find myself saying that very often. Mm, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. There could have been a lot, lot worse. We've got the Fnatic, we've got the NIP, 2015, old school stuff. I like this very much. What condition is that in as well? Ooh, that's a minimal wear. Next up, we have the Cologne 2015 Major. Once again, this is a Dust 2 package. We just got the Damascus Steel. So maybe a nice little P2000. Amber Fade would be cool because I just don't really like the RA. Mm -hmm, that is real, real bad. However, most of those stickers actually fit with this skin quite a lot. Despite it looking in pretty bad condition, actually not too bad as a play skin. Then we move on to Dreamhack 2015. Close Napoca. This is the Overpass collection. So we'd be hoping to get an all pink DD fan, I think, in Souvenir. That would be unreal. Also, a masterpiece would be pretty cool. Desert Eagle Urban DD pan or Block 9, I think, would be the best from the lower tier. I forgot to see who it was dropped by. We'll just be able to tell from the stickers that does not look in good condition. It's Navi and Luminosity. Very cool. I love these stickers, man. These old school stickers bring back such good memories. Such a shame that it's on such a terrible gun. Next major we had was Columbus in 2016. Luminosity Gaming actually won this one, with Na'Vi being the runner-up. However, this was dropped between CLG and Gambit. The Mag 7 Bulldozer would be the best pull from this. I think the Ump Blaze would be pretty gangster as well if we managed to get that. 2016, show me something sick. P250 doesn't quite cut it, but once again, I am absolutely loving the stickers on it. Moving on to Cologne 2016. This is the most expensive package I have of all of them because, of course, it is a cobblestone package. This thing costs like thousand dollars just by itself getting ahead of ourselves who was it dropped by uh sk gaming and phase and it was signed by rain that would be a pretty damn cool dealer to get we've already got one absolutely incredible insane pull this video i highly doubt we're gonna get a dealer but let's open it anyway just for the nostalgia let's make it souvenir dealer number two let's go come on show me a nice shiny red ah I mean, it's shiny, but it's not red. We got the Souvenir Mag 7 Silver signed by Rain with that Phase logo. That would have been really cool. The Phase logo there actually would have been on the scope of the Souvenir d -Law, which would have been sick. Moving on to Atlanta 2017. This is the Cash Collection, and it was dropped between Virtus Pro and North. The little Cerebrus, I think, would be really cool. If I'm not mistaken, I think the price of the little Cerebrus has gone up a lot recently. We've got an Org Radiation Hazard, which actually isn't too much of a bad looking skin, if I'm honest with you. I think I'm just a big fan of souvenirs because I like this one a lot as well. We had another major in 2017, and that, of course, was the Krakow 2017, which I'm sure a lot of you know due to the price of the gold stickers from this major. They are just out of this world. And I love the stickers. I keep getting ahead of myself. Who exactly was it dropped between? SK Gaming and Immortal. I would love an all pink DD pack, so let's get it. Show me that restricted item. Ooh, okay, that could have actually been worse because the Desert Eagle Urban DD pack, I know it's like a terrible condition, but it's actually quite a nicely used weapon and it's got the Krakow 2017 stickers on as well, which I absolutely love. I think. I don't really have a need for these souvenir weapons. So all of these little gems that I've opened that actually look really, really cool, but aren't like crazy value, 
I think if this video hits 10,000 likes, I'll give them away in the comments to you. Obviously not this guy, because this is like absolutely insane. However, everything forward from here on out, I'll give away to you guys in the comments. 10K likes will make that happen. So if you want an OG souvenir item, slap that like button. Then we moved into 2018 and the Major headed over to Boston and we're in the Mirage collection so we could obviously get the Mag 7 Bulldozer which would be incredible. This one was dropped between Cloud9 and VP. Mag 7 Bulldozer or Little One Place. Either one of those skins I'll be quite happy with. I mean I can't complain whatsoever so far at what I've got. We then moved into 2018 where the Major was held by Faceit in London. This package was dropped between Hellraisers and Big. I was actually here at the event as well. Let's roll the footage. And I had a great time. But the skins in this are not great. Maybe the Desert Eagle Urban Rubble would be good. I mean, the Tech 9 Quartz is the absolute best thing you can get in this, but it's pretty lame, isn't it? Nobody actually uses the Tech 9. We'll get a Bison instead. The Hellraiser sticker is looking pretty cool. I appear to have missed a little cheeky 2014 nuke souvenir package between Cloud9 and NIP. So let's get this open. We'd probably be hoping for the radiation hazard. We're skipping back in time quite a lot now. Ooh, another PP Bison. Irradiated alert. Those stickers though, man. The old school stickers, I love them. Where we should actually be in time is 2019. Kedavitsu. This was the next major package drop between Renegades and Astralis. I think Astralis at this time were on their absolutely stomping ground. They were destroying everything. I think they won like three majors in a row, including this one. The Orc Acheron. That would be pretty damn cool. The Block 18 Nuclear Garden, that would be super cool. Also, the Control Panel, that would be very, very cool. But we know the odds of souvenirs, we know they're not exactly fantastic. Mm. Well, at least it's not an industrial. We also got another package right here. The Cologne 2014 that I missed. Epsilon and Team Diggy. Let's get this one open real quick. Tech 9 is the best thing that we could possibly get. And it's going to be a Nova. Nova Walmart. Oh, big stickers look. Fire there. Back to 2019 where we should be. It is the Berlin souvenir package. It is dropped between Astralis and Avangar. Ah, ooh, safety net. Safety net. That's going to be super cool. Maybe an integral. I know those are really rare as it is. So a souvenir integral would be very, very nice. The MP9. Was that orange peel? No, the slide. We're getting into modern day territory real, real quick. The Stockholm 2021. This is the ancient souvenir package. This is when the 2021 collection started coming in and they changed from the OG selections into some new skins. This one was dropped between Na'Vi and G2 in the grand final. Best thing we could get, obviously, the welcome to the jungle. That would be incredible to get in souvenir. Absolutely incredible. Let's get it open. Let's see what we get. Oh, it's going to be a seven. Oh, it looks like the motherboard, but it's not the motherboard. It's the tall grass. Next major was the Antwerp 2022, which I also attended. Let's roll the footage. And I have a whole bunch of packages from this one. Firstly, we'll start with the Dust 2. We can get the Souvenir Gold Arabesque, which obviously I have managed to get once, but I spent, oh, spent like $30,000, I think, opening packages until I got that. So not a good investment. Moving on to the Vertigo, the imminent dangerous souvenir is incredible. I literally bought myself one of these just because of how cool and how rare the skin is in souvenir. So, hmm. It's the auto shot. Either. And of course, these aren't actually signed by players because they changed the way the souvenirs worked, which is a shame. Everyone really loved the player signatures, so fingers crossed they actually managed to bring that back. Let's get the Mirage package open. The Orc Desert Hydra and souvenir would be amazing. Well, instead, we're going to get the P250, and it's the Drought, which I feel like looks a little bit like the Gunsmoke, but with different colours. Moving on to the Overpass, we could get the Masterpiece or the Orb Pink DD Pat. I honestly think the Orb Pink DD Pat might be a little bit cooler. That's not exactly what we want, the Sage Spray. The next package is a Nuke, which we can get the control panel from. Also the Orc Acheron, any Orc and Souvenir I think is pretty cool, so I'll be happy with that one. Oh, actually, I'm quite happy with the mainframe too. I think that looks quite cool. Sticker placement I think could be better. I think if we replace 
this PGL tournament sticker with the Navi and then put that right at the back, which is actually possible on these souvenir items because you can actually buy every single sticker here on the market apart from the collection sticker. So you can't get the nuke one. This is the one you can never scratch, never remove. However, you can rearrange all of these stickers and nobody would ever know. Final Antwerp package, which is the Inferno. We'd be hoping for an integral. We'd be hoping for a safety net. Maybe even a little checked engine USPS. That would be very cool as well. It's gonna be an org, not my favorite looking skin. And last but not least, the most recent major that we've had, the Rio 2022 Nuke Souvenir Package. Same skins as last time because we just opened an Antwerp Nuke and they didn't release a Nuke 2021 collection with new skins. So I think this is like the OG collection, but let's get it. Let's stop talking our very final souvenir package. It's a P250. It looks in good condition though. Facility draft. Ooh. Well, this was opening one package from every single major that's ever taken place and from every single collection that's ever been put in the game, souvenir-wise. I don't know how I did this. This was really a shock to me. This, <laughs> this is the second one ever unboxed in the whole world and it is better than the one Jesus unboxed. I'm sorry, Jesus. I'm really sorry. I beat you. And I didn't mean to. If any collectors have any interest on this, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. I believe that will be down in the description below. 10,000 likes and I'll give away all of these things that I unboxed in the comments. I think this one, this one's very, very cool. Slap that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.